Syphilis has been around for centuries and continues to be a significant health problem. In fact, cases have been on the rise for the past 20 years. If caught early, there are effective treatments. Everyone should get tested and, if needed, treated to help stop the spread of the disease. Syphilis is a bacterial infection that spreads through sexual contact. The first symptom is a painless sore on the genitals, rectum, or mouth. Syphilis is called the great imitator because it can look like anything. Once the infection is in your body, you may not feel anything for years. Additional painless sores may appear and go unnoticed because they are inside the vagina or rectum. A rash can develop, but it's typically not itchy or uncomfortable. If you or your doctor don't realize these symptoms are connected, syphilis may continue undetected. Untreated syphilis can cause significant health problems. Pregnant women with syphilis are at increased risk for miscarriage, stillbirth, or premature birth. They can also transmit syphilis to their unborn children. This is called congenital syphilis, and it is also on the rise. Once you have had syphilis for a long time, it can do serious damage to your heart, brain, and other organs, usually resulting in permanent damage. Everyone who has sex should get tested for syphilis. Having multiple sexual partners or engaging in other high-risk sexual activities increases your risk, but even if you're having sex with one person, you should still get tested. Syphilis testing should be part of every person's ongoing care. If your doctor asks you about being tested, don't be offended. This is about keeping you healthy. If syphilis is detected early, it can be cured with antibiotics. People don't get tested because they don't know they should or their doctors don't suggest it. There's also a lot of mistrust, especially among black and Latino communities because of terrible experiments and practices performed by the U.S. public health officials during the 20th century. Today, because we have a cure for syphilis, we want to test all adults who are or have been sexually active, just as we routinely screen for high blood pressure and other common health problems. The more people we diagnose and treat, the less likely syphilis will continue to spread.